y'all still bill twisted diesel man i ain't got a video on the truck in a minute man so fuck it we back at it man but keep game though man i want to rock i want i want i want to poly with y'all about motherfucking what took place on sunday night sunday night a pay-per-view attraction fight on a sunday night ain't that a bitch that's a different story though man that's a different story but um first off man um Shout out to Isaac Cruz because I ain't gonna front. I thought I thought I thought Youngin was gonna get slapped. I, I thought Javante was gonna put my homeboy to sleep. Like I honestly did. And let me be real with y'all. I didn't even watch the fight, right? Like I didn't watch the fight. I didn't watch the Mario Barrios fight. I watched highlights. I watched highlights of this of, of Sunday's fight, but I'm that uninterested and invested in Javante Davis. That uninterested and that un and, and, um, uninvested. The dude, I mean, for somebody, for a nigga to sit there and say, I'll fight, like, to admit that he's not fighting the best quality opposition and kind of condone it, I'll probably fight a top, a top, a, a, a top 10 opponent in 2022 or 23. That shit is just, and the, the, the fact that they have the nerve to sell us these fights. You, you dig me? The fact that they have the nerve to sell us these fights is just another slap in the face. Now, they're saying he broke his hand during that fight, so that's why he wasn't able to do whatever it is that he did, that we expected him to do. But you was able to get Leo Santa Cruz up out of there in six, I want to say. You was able to do that. There's no reason why you shouldn't have been able to, you know, completely separate yourself between you and this opponent right here. There should be no reason why he was winning rounds later on down the stretch. There should be no reason for that. There should be no reason for that, man. Um, you should have did what it is that you had to do to get this man up out of there, or let him be, or let him let it be known you're not on my level, regardless of your hand being fucked up. And I know that's a fucked up thing to say. But five rounds, you should have had him figured out enough to where you, I mean, you still have, you have three punches at your disposal. You have the jab, the left, or in your case, the jab, the right hook, and the right uppercut at your disposal. And for you to be, the, you know, look, when Wilder broke his hand against Romain Stavern, he was still able to dominate all of those rounds. It's hard to some way, we see the I see the talent in the tank, man, but it's hard to gauge where it is that he's at because of performances, you know, situations like this. You have a tough fight with Teofimo Lopez, Lomachenko, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, even Nakatani, fucking Richard Comey, even a Jorge Linares. You have tough fights with those dudes. Not Isaac Cruz. Not, not him, because he's still a, he's the, he's the random select button in the on Mortal Kombat. He's the random select emblem. You having, a, you having tough outings with random select fighters, fam? Like, no, bro, hell no. That's unacceptable, and this is why I'm uninvested in. Because you don't give a fuck about fighting adequate competition, and neither does. You know, neither does Floyd was fucked up. I said it before, I'll say it again. Floyd's whole entire image and energy surrounding him was predicated on him preserving his oath. So he has to live and die by that moniker. Because he's created a, he's created an energy as to where if you lose, you use goods. If you lose, you use. So if his fighter that he's promoting loses, he's used. And that's and we're seeing that ever so you know clearly. We're seeing that ever so clearly. That's why I, I mean, just the, the whole mentality. I, I, like I keep seeing people say he lost. He got a loss on his resume. Name me ten fighters that doesn't. Exactly, man. The shit is aggravating. The shit is aggravating. It is a lot to be gained in a loss. It's a lot to be gained in a loss. It's not the end of the world because you lose. If you continue to lose, all right, we can talk about that. But if you have a lose, if you have a, if you have a law, if you have a, um, if you have a few, you know, 
uh, you know, a few losses in your loss, you know, category, it's all to the good. If you were able to learn from the losses, avenge those losses, it's all good. Marvin Hagler is one of the greatest middleweights ever, if if not the greatest. How many losses did he have in the loss column? Ray Leonard, how many losses did he have? And it's all good. Roberto Duran, how many losses? Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, Sugar Ray Robinson, Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, Joe Frazier. All of these people have losses in the in their loss column, and there's nothing wrong with that, man. There's nothing wrong with that. But Floyd has created this environment to where if you lose, you, you're used. So now he has to do whatever it is that he can to preserve Tank. That's a fucked up reality to live in. Well, you can't even risk putting your fighter in there with a game opponent that could benefit him so he doesn't have to worry about a loss as much as he would now. You have to preserve him because you fuck, you scared of fucking up the bag because of the energy that you created. This shit is sad, man. This shit is sad. You keep taking your pot shots at Canelo and all that shit. Stare, you know, Floyd, you know, it's fucked up. That Tank looks up to Canelo. Tank looks up to Canelo. And you keep, you know, you keep taking, you know, doing whatever it is you can to denigrate Canelo and all that he's done, all that he's done and all his accomplishments. And it's like, bro, is all that necessary for real? I personally don't think it is. You beat him. Cool, that's what's up. Canelo can't do shit today in the now. Without some goofy ass nigga posting highlight footage of the loss of his loss to Floyd, they don't even post the Lufkin fight. They don't even post the Laura fight, the first Golovkin fight, because it was declared a draw. They, you know, everybody talks about how bad you know Laura schooled him. They don't even post footage of that. They run right to Floyd. Is that not enough for you? Is that not enough for you, man? You keep talking about um. You know, he ain't fight, he's picking his opponents. You did the same thing. The difference is he picked undefeated world champions to go undisputed. We didn't get to see you fight Keith Thurman. And everybody was clamoring for that fight. We didn't ask for Andre Berto. This is why people think Manny Pacquiao has a better career than, and a legacy than you. Manny fought everybody. He fought everybody. His last fight was with Ugas, a champion. He got retired by Ugas. They still gave him hell. You haven't, you, you, you didn't do that. You didn't do that. You fought Berto and bounce. But you can't, oh man, that was easy work. He was in his prime. I was, I was 36. He wasn't in his prime. He wasn't in his prime. He didn't, he didn't get into his prime until after you retired. Maybe two or three years after you retire. Golovkin 2, that's when Canelo came into his own. But you want to do, you know, you want to, any because they booed Tank in LA, you want to clap back Canelo. Never mind that, I just came back from LA. I didn't see black people like that in both until I went to South Central. Until I went to Nipsey's store, God rest the dead, my brother Nipsey Hustle. Until I went to his store over there in the Six O's, I ain't seen niggas like that in LA. That's Mexico at this point in time. That's Mexico. I didn't see black people like that in LA. So therefore, yes, it's a predominantly Mexican crowd. It's the reason why he got booed. He's fighting in Mexico practically. And instead of realizing that, you'd rather clap at Canelo and all of his accomplishments, man. Like, that shit is corny. That shit is corny. Like, man, y'all gotta, you gotta stop, bro. You gotta, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. You can say whatever it is you wanna say about Canelo, but Canelo, is, at this point in time, if he retired, he's a, hall, a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's undisputed. He did something you never done. He went undisputed. When undisputed, we're waiting for Tank to as much as unify. Y'all keep, you know, y'all, you're gonna clap at Canelo for going up and fighting Macabu, but 
you want everybody to praise Tank for going up and getting a McDonald's belt from Mario Barrios. There's no comparison between the two as far as accolades and career is concerned, fam. Tank is not, there, there's nobody equivalent to Canelo at this point in time, except the Josh Taylor, except for Terrence Crawford, only because they're undisputed and former undisputed world champions. There's nobody compatible with Canelo Alvarez outside of them two. Usyk, that's another one. If you want to get real technical, Katie Taylor, Jessica McCaskill, we can get it. We can get. We can go all the way in there with it. If that's a, if that's where you want to go, Clarissa Shields, we can do all of that. We can do all that, but we can just keep it within the spectrum of men's boxing. As far as dudes go, there's nobody that's comparable to Canelo Alvarez outside of a Usyk, outside of a Josh Taylor, outside of a Terrence Crawford. Tank is not a multi-weight division champion, bro. He's not. He's not. You gonna clap at Macabre, talk about who is he, we wanna see, we wanna see him fight David Benavidez. We wanna see uh, uh, Canelo fight Jamal Charlo. We wanna see Canelo fight Demetrius Andre. All right, we wanna see Tank fight Vasily Lomachenko. We wanna see Tank fight Ryan Garcia. We wanna see Tank fight Devin Haney and Teofimo Lopez. That's what we wanna see. There's You have no grounds to stand on outside of the fact that you beat Canelo. You have no grounds to stand on, G. So it's just best that you just kinda, you know, fall back. Fall back. You can't get mad at him because he got 40 M's out of y'all and bounce, man. The dude is a fucking promotional free agent. He goes where the fuck he wants to go. Wherever the best fight is at, that's where he's going. He fights better be if you don't think he's going over there to motherfucking top rank, you damn right he is. He's planning on fighting three times next year, man. Like, it's not the end of the world because he wants to go fight Makabu. That dude just unified the fucking division in under a calendar year. Go have your fun. You want to go up there and test, your, test the waters at, middle, at, 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 at uh, Cruiserweight? Hey, it is what it is. King, do your thing. That shit shouldn't be denigrated because you want him to fight with you, you know, the people on your side of the street. Y'all PBC niggas got a lot of nerve. A lot of nerve. A whole lot of nerve. You told Tay, oh, no, nah, we only doing in-house fights. We only doing in-house fights. But when Canelo wants to go out, you want him to follow protocol. No. No. Y'all are stunning the growth of the fighters over there. You, you know, another narrative that y'all niggas keep talking about, you know, that was the, the weakest division in the sport. All right, cool. Well, how come Charlo won't jump up and fight Benavidez after he called him out? Why won't Andre activate his re yeah, not rematch clause, but his mandatory clause, his mandatory, and vacate his titles at 160? I'm glad that he's not doing it because I want to see him versus Johnny Beck. I'm going to do a video on that too. But this shit getting stupid, man. Tank Davis is not that nigga, man. And everybody keeps talking about Tank, Tank, Tank. Tank could do this and that and the third to Devin Haney. He hasn't proven that he can do that amongst the cream of the crop. Pedraza was a good win. I'm not knocking that. Lomachenko beat Pedraza. That's a good win. But he didn't stop at Pedraza. This is getting, you know, you get. I don't want to even say it's jealousy. Because even though I think he has a better, you know, he has more accolades and accomplishments than you. Especially if he jumps up to, uh, to cruiserweight. And gets that, or when he jumps up the cruiserweight, and if he gets that strap, I, you know, he, he, I don't think it could be argued that he has a better, uh, a, he has better accomplishments than you. I can't argue that, but I don't want to say that it's off top. You just being jealous because for one, you beat him, and your get down wasn't necessarily the accolades. Your get down was that money. You wanted the biggest bag you could possibly get. That was that's always been your, you know, your paradigm. That's always been where you with that man. How about that money, that money, the money team, the money team, the money team. That's been your get out. I right, were cool. That's your get out. So I don't think it's I don't think it's jealousy. I do think it's somewhat. It could you know I could you, I can understand why someone would say it's jealousy, 
or it could just be you know you a little irritated that he's replaced you as the as the face of the sport and not just replaced you you're probably in a space where you're like because i beat him they should automatically you know bend the proverbial knee and submit to me and whoever it is that i choose to push to the forefront so you're just inadvertently expecting him to bow down to you because you put Javante Davis out there. You put Tank out there. I beat Canelo. Why is he? He's like, no, anything that I put my hands on should automatically usurp that of Canelo since I beat that nigga. I think that, I, can, I, I feel like that's somewhat your paradigm. I think that's somewhat your paradigm. And I think that shit is porn. I think, it, I think it's corny. Because you're not doing anything to benefit Tank, honestly. You're not doing shit to benefit Tank. You're putting him in there with soft matchmaking. You haven't put him, you know, just imagine what's going to happen if he gets in the ring with Vasily Lomachenko. Devin Haney, what happens if he gets in there with these dudes? Teofimo Lopez, what happens? Ryan Garcia, what happens? And we're gonna talk about Ryan Garcia next too, because you pissing me off as well. But you gotta stop that shit, man. You, you gotta stop that shit. You of all people know, you of all people know the importance of fighting quality opposition. You of all people know that shit, and you should understand it. You know good and hell well, once your athleticism dissipates, you need something else that can carry you to the rest of your career because you may not necessarily be ready to go and retire. It's just your level of athleticism isn't what it was years prior. But you being getting different looks at different fighters, you, you, you know, you're able to compute them, you know, a lot faster than you normally would. You know how to overwork, you know, not overwork, but you know how to make sure, make your brain work a little bit more over time and quicker to download somebody's information, their tactics, their, their patterns, their habits. You become quick, you become, you become sharper. Once your athleticism or something that you had that was special about you is no longer at your disposal. Your timing becomes sharper. Your positioning, you know what I'm saying? Where your feet are, where to put your feet at, where you know comfortably you can get out of range, but you're still in range to strike. Shit, little shit like that. Your boxing acumen and IQ heightens when you get in there and get different looks with quality opposition. Roy Jones honestly didn't have that, and that's probably the, the fucking goat right there. He was beating niggas off athleticism. But when his athleticism dissipated, he couldn't compete like that. You ain't doing Tank no favors by all this soft matchmaking, fam. You're not. You're not. So don't get mad at Canelo. When he's doing what and it, not to mention the dude already said that he's planning he plans on fighting Charlo and Benavidez, but goddamn, why do why are they just waiting in line for a fucking for the to, you know for the for them for him to pull the lottery ticket? Why are they just waiting in line? Why are they not? I'm not yo, David Benavidez is about to go up and, about to go and fight David Lemieux. That is gonna be a good fight. That is gonna be a good fight. That's a good fight. That's a good stay busy fight. I wasn't even mad at Jose Luis Patek. I was, I was, I was looking forward to that fight. But I'll fuck with the David Lemieux fight. Cool. Let's get into that. Now, what's Charlo doing? Andre is doing. Andre's about to go fight Johnny Beck. That mandatory just got mandated. Cool. What's Charlo doing? Besides slapping fans in the crowd, what is Charlo doing? Stop acting, you know, stop accommodating these niggas for their fuck ups. Or they lack, you know, they lazy and lackluster behavior. Don't clap at Canelo because he's going up to fight motherfucking Macabu. But praise Tank and get mad when we don't when we don't validate Tank as a three-division world champion for him going up and fighting goddamn Mario Barrios. 
you know, I, I don't know what's going on with you and Leonard, man, as far as, you know, all the, all the, all the, all the, all the, all the, all the uh, uh, demonstrative type tone in your voice as it pertains to Canelo with, with you and as it pertains to Eddie Hart with Leonard. Like, that shit is corny, man. That shit is corny. That shit is corny. Y'all need to go over there. Y'all can holler at Richard Schaefer. Y'all can holler at Eddie Hearn. For what it is, for your brand, for what it is that you trying to do, well, honestly, you can't because you're not, you know, you're not predicated on world domination as far as the sport is concerned. You just go, y'all, you want to, you know, you're another arrogant American. You just think any, everything evolves around America. Everything evolves around America. If it ain't about America, if it ain't in America, it don't matter. Even though it's a global market. It's a global market. As far as boxing, there's boxers everywhere. That's why y'all can sit there and talk that hero bone bullshit. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all need to get with the with the cat like Eddie Hearn. So he can school y'all on shit. Because you know, I'm good. Y'all don't have it, bro. Y'all don't have it. Y'all got one fighter that y'all promote. And y'all are so y'all so adamant on baby in this dude that y'all get mad when niggas don't want to buy the pay-per-view. Don't buy this pay or don't, don't, you know, don't stream this pay-per-view, buy the pay No, what? Like I said, I'm not going to I'm man, listen, man. I might watch the fight. Actually, I am going to watch the fight so I can get a real good analysis of it. And then I'm gonna go watch the Mario Barrio fight. So I get a real good analysis of it, and I can tell y'all, Tank ain't it at this point in time. Kid is nice, but y'all are hurting this dude's career because y'all won't put him in there with no risky competition. So when he feels like he's ready, the skill that he made, you know, just his natural ability, just naturally talented, he may have that as a, at his disposal. But the minute he gets in there with somebody who's been in there, they're you know they're just sharper because of the competition that they've been the gauntlet of fighters that they've been through. He may not be able to swim in them waters, and y'all gonna look like fools. Stop that fucking bullshit, man. Get Tank in there with some adequate competition and let that man enjoy his career. Stop feet. Stop, stop, stop gassing that man. I'm, you know, them niggas is easy work. They all easy work. I'm the top dog. How? I never heard about, I never heard a champion or somebody with no belt being the top dog. I've never heard that before. I've never in my life heard that. Stop with the bullshit, man. Go get that, go put him in there with somebody that's gonna push him it'll do better for him later on down the line he's already at an advanced age bro he should be far more accomplished than what he is he should be far more accomplished floyd you know better because by the time you was 27 you was doing big things you you know yeah you the michael jordan and shit bro. you want michael jordan as talented as y'all are you're arguably the goat mike is the goat talented as y'all was, y'all don't have a good eye for management and, and uh, uh, scouting talent. Y'all don't. I, I want to, you know, Tank is talented, but just the bullshit that y'all do with him, mm -mm. y'all not good at management, bro. Y'all not. And it is what it is, man. I'm out. Peace.